Why? Let me just ask a question, if I might. Let me ask the question. Well, there's a lot of this shows that there is a great deal of tension in the community and it has bubbled over the top. Is there any sense in the community that there is outrage citywide over some of the things that have occurred, or do you feel that you're fighting this battle alone? Let me, let me We're fighting it alone. Let me answer this. What's important to be conveyed across the media is simply this. You can sit in your sublime elite abode and point the finger and say, look what that fool is on. You understand know what I'm saying? But you can't insult the alligator until you cross the river. Unless you know what degradation, debilitation is all about. You can't really make a sound decision as to what's going on around here. Now, you say, well, South Central is a ghetto. No. The country is a ghetto. The ghetto exactly. is right there. The ghetto is right in our minds. Let you understand what I'm saying? Question, sir. One of the businesses down here, this shoe store here, is a black-owned business. Did you? There are many, if I may, there are many people in this city wondering why people black. are turning people on, on minorities. People are asking why are rioters turning on minority-owned businesses. And, uh, you know, I will acknowledge there are many white people that are out there participating in this event as well. Right, let me interject something, because, because I, know, I, I, know the gentleman, okay. I know the gentleman who owns the store over there. First of all, it was precipitated. You know, what you have is a classic example of anarchy. You have the controllable mob and you have the unthinkable mob. Now, when I say the mob, I'm talking about the people who are running around here doing baseless, senseless things. But, in spite of all this, these people may be caught up in a sense of madness or caught up in a sense of frenzy, but they're not caught up in a sense of foolishness. They were very distinctive and very, they differentiated between that business that they started to vandalize and the business who was owned by a Korean next door to it. You understand what I'm saying? So you say things are obvious. If anything is obvious, that's obvious. You know. I think in essence, well, what, what, let me just counter that. While we were standing there talking to the owner of that store, right. people over his left hand shoulder were walking into the store under his full view, reaching in and taking out I shoes. I disagree because I was standing right there. You understand what I'm saying? That's a lie. First of all, what we need to realize is that people who believe what they're told will know a lot of things that ain't so. A lot of propaganda is being, being spread around this, on the situation. The situation is being aggravated. If you, look you know, over there, th this South Central... How should the story be told? You tell me, how should the story be The story, story be should be told in essence like this. First of all, the biggest problem in the world could have been solved when it was small. There were people who sat by and said, you know what, this ain't happening in my neighborhood. It can't possibly happen in my neighborhood. Okay. Excuse me. Thank you very much for your thoughts, all of you.